on your backs. This class will really be an unwind after um, work kind of class. So I'll be focusing on all of the areas that tend to get tight from sitting and working, shoulders, chest, hips, basically everything. And um, we'll be a little less active than my morning gentle flow just because I'm trying to prepare your body and mind so that you can sleep deeply and unwind after a long day at work or a long day with the kids or whatever it is you're doing. So go ahead and lay down if you're not already. Straighten the legs, get comfortable. Kind of move around so that nothing on the back of the body is scrunched up. Try to be nice and flat on the floor. And then just to kind of bring the hands to the belly. They can still rest on the ground, but so you can also feel the belly. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Sigh it out. Another one like that, but this time really let the belly lift up. Then a few more of those deep belly breaths, but with the mouth closed. So as you inhale, feel the belly lift up. And as you exhale, gently activate the core to pull the belly back toward the floor. Few more of those, focusing on nothing but the breath. Each inhalation and exhalation a little longer. Last deep breath. And then releasing the hands to the ground. Inhale the arms up and overhead. Tighten up the whole body. Flex or point, doesn't matter, but tighten every muscle. And then exhale, relax. One more like that. Tighten, stretch. Exhale, relax into the floor. And then reaching the arms overhead, pointing the toes, full body stretch. Exhale, arms up and down by the hips as you flex the feet. This time we'll do just the right arm. Right arm goes up and overhead, point the right toes. Exhale, right arm comes up and down, flex the right toes. Now left, inhale, left arm up, point the left toes. Exhale, left arm down, flex the left toes. Both arms, inhale up, point, lift the lower back. Exhale down as you flex. One more round, so right, left, both. Move with the breath. with our hands down by our sides, bending both legs so that the feet are hip distance, parallel to one another, hands down by the hips, moving into a slow bridge flow with the breath. So pressing into the feet, inhale, lift the hips up, feel the glutes activate, exhale, slowly roll down the spine, letting the sacrum be the last to touch. Inhale, back up. Exhale, roll down the spine. A few more. Concentrating on moving with the breath, linking the movement to the breath, and also pressing evenly into the feet. Heels, balls, inside edges, outside edges. Keep those knees hip distance as you lift up. If they start to splay out, that means you've gone past your maximum. 
On this next one, let's hold at the top. Breathing deeply. The next time you exhale, slowly roll down, the slowest you've done yet. And then hugging the knees into the chest. Option to hold here or gently rock side to side. Hopefully already, simply by breathing and moving with the breath, you're feeling a little more relaxed or at least a little less stressed. And keeping our legs elevated, extending the arms out to a T, check in with the body. If the lower back is bothering you with legs lifted, bring them to the floor. So feet lifted or on the floor, deep breath in. Exhale the knees to the right, an inch, two inches hovering above the ground, your choice. Inhale back to center. Exhale left. Continuing with the breath, feet lifted or on the floor, you could try each way, see which feels better on the body. The next time your knees are on the right, go ahead and drop them all the way to the floor. And then shift the hips so that everything feels in a line. Left hip on top of right. Turn the head to the right, then the left. See which feels better and hold there. Close the eyes. Try to sink into the mat. Left shoulder, right shoulder, both touching. Trying to keep the legs stacked if you can. You can also bring the right arm to the thigh to hold on if that feels more secure. Gently bringing the knees back to center and then dropping them over to the left side, shifting the hips so that the back feels good. Right shoulder touching the ground, option to bring the left hand to the right thigh and then look in the opposite direction. gently bringing the knees back to center. Releasing the feet to the ground if they're lifted. Arms can be out to a T or by the hips. Lifting the right leg up, still bent. We're gonna do nice slow hip circles. So just moving the knee in a circle. Try to glue your hips to the ground so that the only movement is in the right leg, in that hip socket. So to keep the pelvis stable, you really need to activate the core here and move slow and controlled. Then reverse that circle. And 
median center, bringing the leg so the calf is parallel with the floor, foot flexed, and we're gonna externally rotate. So the foot comes to the left and the knee points out to the right. And then internally rotate, knee goes in, ooh, foot and ankle go out. So a couple of those, nice and slow with the breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other way. One more each side. Notice where you find some stickiness. And we'll just compare on the other side. Then straightening the right leg, foot flexed. On the exhalation, lower it so it hovers above the ground. Point, inhale, lift. Flex, exhale, lower. Three more like that with the breath. Then let's meet with the right leg straight up, foot flexed. And we're going to externally rotate so the toes point out to the right. And then internally rotate so they point to the left shoulder. Couple more, so moving into that hip socket. Working on mobility and movement here. The meeting in center and hugging the knee into the chest. You can hold on to the shin or the back of the thigh. And then once you're nice and secure, go ahead and straighten the left leg. Left leg is active, flexed or pointed up to you. Relax the shoulders and return to your deep breath. And bringing the right hand to the knee, left hand to the left hip, and guiding the knee out to the right without letting the left hip lift off the ground. Relaxing the shoulders. to center, then bend the left leg, bring the right ankle to the left thigh, flex the right foot, and actively try to pull the legs apart without touching them. So you'll engage this core and try to pull the legs apart without actually moving or touching them. You should feel a nice opening through the hips. Then your choice to intensify this you could either press the thigh away or reach for the back of the left thigh and pull the legs a little closer. Whichever option you choose, make sure you can keep the shoulders and neck relaxed. And return to that deep breath. This is a combination of moves that I do every night before I go to sleep. Um, I was having a hard time sleeping once all this pandemic stuff hit. And once I started incorporating this into my nighttime routine, I can sleep through the night again. So if you find it helps you, I'd love to hear. All right, let's go ahead and release this left foot to the ground now, keeping your legs as they are. Deep breath in. Exhale, drop the legs over to the left. Option to look right or left, your choice.
option to stay exactly as you are, or you can take this right hand, reach for the left foot, and pull the heel into the butt. If you're holding onto the left foot, release, unwrap the legs, and then bring the legs back to center. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. You stay where you are, I'm just flipping over you so you can see better. And then from here, let's move into a bridge flow again, but walk the feet so they're wide to the edges of the mat. Turn the toes out and come up on the heels. Inhale, lift the hips, feel a different part of the glutes engage, the hips, and then lower. Four more like this. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And we flow first, one, to make sure we're warm before stretching, but also because flowing helps with building strength and increasing our mobility. You'll find you'll, you have bigger gains with flexibility by flowing combined with static stretching. Last one. Bring the feet back, hip distance. Lift the left leg up, nice and relaxed. And then those nice, slow hip circles. So the knee moves in a slow, controlled circle, good. Glue that right hip to the ground. Try not to let it move at all. Reverse that circle. The meeting in center, bringing the calf parallel to the floor, left foot flexed. Externally rotate, knee points out, foot comes toward the right knee. Internally rotate, ooh, that foot goes out to the left. Continuing with your breath, noticing the stickiness, noticing the difference between the right and the left side. Perhaps you can internally rotate much farther than you can externally rotate or vice versa. Just noticing those things. It's helpful to know how your body works. And then meeting in center. Leg straight up, foot flexed. Exhale, lower, hovering above the ground. Point, inhale, lift. Flex, exhale, lower. Moving with your breath. It's a little bit of nerve flossing. Also making sure your hip flexors are warm. The meeting with our foot lifted, flexing the foot, internally rotate, toes point to the right shoulder, externally rotate, point to the left shoulder. Two more each side with the breath, inhale one way, exhale the other. Last one. and then hugging that knee into the chest, holding on the shin or the back of the thigh. Once you're stable, straightening the right leg. Returning to the breath. the right hand to the right hip, guiding the knee out to the left so the right hip does not lift up. Relaxing the shoulders, engaging the core just a little bit to help open up through the hips even more. Back to 
center, bend the right leg again, bring the left ankle to the right thigh, actively pull the legs apart, left foot is flexed, breathe. Try to keep the pelvis stable so you don't want the left hip up or the right hip down, nice and equal. Then options for intensifying this, you can either gently press the thigh away or lace the hands to the back of the right thigh. Keeping the legs like this, but releasing the right foot to the ground. Arms back out to a T, deep breath in. Exhale the legs over to the right. Allow your hips to sink into the ground. Relax the shoulders into the ground. We're getting the spine, the hips, and the chest and shoulders here. When you turn the neck one way or the other, you also add that neck stretch. Option to stay as you are or you can reach for the right foot with the left hand, pulling the heel to the butt and then sinking back into the ground. Just an option, not a necessity. Holding on to the back of the thighs, rocking front to back to massage the spine. Take about 10 rocks and then either rock up or press up to seat it. Your choice. And then once you're up, make your way to seated. Easy pose, if you have a block, bolster, or a pillow to sit on, I'd recommend that. Otherwise, get comfy on the floor. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale, open up through the chest, elbows go back. Exhale, curl and round, seated cat and cow. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl. And for today, when you're in your cow, try to look straight ahead instead of up, just so we don't place more stress on the neck after a long day that can be counterproductive. Last one. and the meeting and center. All right, this one's kind of a weird one, but you're all home, so you don't have to worry how you look. Let's try to move the chest in a circle. Doesn't matter which way you go, because we're gonna reverse it. So think about, you have something written on your shirt, like me, and you're just trying to move those words in a circle. Now reverse the circle. Teaching a little bit of body control moving through parts of the body that we don't normally, and then meeting in center. And now we're gonna intensify that movement, leading the whole torso to one side, front, other. So now you'll feel it more in the hips, 
whereas the first move was more about the strength through the core and the rib cage. Reverse that circle. And then meet in center. Bringing the feet to butterfly. Introducing some gentle movement. And if you do this at the start of class, and you're doing it now, hopefully you feel that the hips are a little more open from what we've done on the floor. Then holding static, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, pressing the chest forward. Relax the shoulders, relax the head. slowly extending the legs and then opening up to straddle feet flex sit up nice and tall try to root the sit bones into the ground and then we're just going to lean to one side trace the legs and then lean to the other side so moving through the side body keeping the shoulders relaxed by moving our hands along our legs Whatever side you're on, hold there. Option to bring the hand to the ear, stretching through the side, tricep shoulder a little more, and really try to root down through those sit bones. The other hip will try to lift up. Inhale up and over to the other side. Option to bring that hand to the ear. Bringing the legs back to easy pose, and then some shoulder rolls. You can do one at a time, both at the same time, whatever feels nice on the upper back. And meeting in neutral. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, right hand comes to the ground, adding a little bit of a hinge. Inhale up and over to the other side. Keeping the lower body static. As you lean to one side, the other hip and knee like to come up like this. So try to glue them down. And whatever side you're on, holding there, trying to root down through the sit bones while lengthening through both sides of the body. Inhale up and over to the other side, same thing, root down, lengthen through the sides of the body, turn the chest up a tiny bit. And all the way back up. And moving to all fours, Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, moving into a nice slow cat and cow here. So inhale, chest reaches back, stay looking down at the ground. Sorry, chest open, hips back. Exhale, curl, tuck the head, look at the knees. Inhale, open. Exhale, curl.
One more of each. And then from here, we're gonna meet in center, core tight so the back is long. Right hand comes to the right ear. Inhale the right elbow up. Exhale, point it through the space between left hand, left knee. Inhale up. That's our motorcycle driving neighbor. Sorry about that, guys. And on this next one, inhale the right arm all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread it through, palm turned up, right shoulder, right side of the face. Left hand can extend to the top or wrap around the back. Gently pressing back up to all fours. And from here, let's extend the right leg straight back, toes pointing down, half spinal balance. Option to add the left arm if you'd like. Two more deep breaths here. If the left hand is lifted, go ahead and lower it to the ground. Lower the right toes and ball of the foot to the ground, legs still straight, and then rock front to back. Stretch the foot, the toes, the calf. And then from here, holding here, kick the left toes off to the side, just a tiny bit. Row, externally rotate through the right hip, lift to the right arm, so kneeling side plank. And then from here, we're gonna do nice, slow arm circles. Reverse the circle. And bringing the right arm straight up, then the right hand to the right ear, press into the right foot, turn the glutes on so you press the hips forward a little, and then lean into that left shoulder blade, really opening up through the chest, shoulders, right side of the body. And then rotate back down to all fours. Knees wide, big toes together, Press on back to child's pose. Walk on the hands over to the left side of the mat, stretching out that right side of the body again. Relax the head. center, coming to all fours, this time left hand to left elbow, or sorry, ear, inhale the elbow up, exhale, point it through right knee, right hand, inhale up, so working on mobility through the spine, and oblique and core strength as well, you also feel the stretch through the shoulders, Then on this next one, inhale the left arm all the way up to the ceiling. 
and exhale, thread it through, palm up, lower down onto the left shoulder, left side of the face. Whatever you did on the other side, do with this side with the right hand. Gently press back up to all fours. And from here, extending the left leg straight back, toes pointing down. Option to hold as is, or you can add the right arm. But each exhalation, try to draw the belly button to the spine. Stay looking down at the ground so you don't place any stress on the cervical spine. Then lower the right hand to the floor, left toes and ball the foot to the ground, and that nice slow rock. Try to get all of the toes. And holding here, right toes move out to the right a little bit. Left hip externally rotates, toes turn, extend the left arm straight up, kneeling side plank. Then those nice slow arm circles with the left. Reverse the circle. Left arm straight up. And bring the left hand to the ear, press into the left foot, turn the glutes on, shift the hips forward a little, and lean into that right shoulder blade. Extend the left arm, and then rotate back down to all fours. Knees wide, big toes together, press on back. This time, walking the hands over to the right side of the mat so you feel the stretch through the left side. Relax the head. center, pressing on up to all fours, back, knees, hip distance, turn the toes under, and shift on up to down dog. Then introduce whatever movement feels good here. My favorite is inhale up on the balls of the feet, exhale, lower one heel, other leg bends. Then inhale back up, exhale, switch, other heel lowers, other leg bends. But you do whatever feels nice on your body here. And looking between the hands, bending the legs, and walking the feet forward to forward fold. Inhaling all the way up to standing. Exhaling the hands through heart center. Feet hip distance. Inhale the arms up. Interlace the fingers, palms turn up. Exhale to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold, legs bent, nice straight spine. Inhale, half fold, hands on the shins or the thighs. Exhale, back to fold. Inhale to chair. Exhale, airplane. Inhale all the way up, a little bit of a back bend. 
Exhale, the hands through heart center and bring them to the hips. Then from here, hip circles clockwise. So just move the hips in a circle. The meeting in center, gluing the hips where they are. Now we're just gonna move from belly button up. So torso goes clockwise. So like we were doing from seated, only now we're standing. Meeting in center, relax the arms, step the feet a little wider and then just twist. There's really no right or wrong here. Just moving through the spine, make sure the core is active to protect the back. And then slowing down, meeting in center, feet back hip distance apart. Inhale the arms up, this time interlace the fingers, index fingers release, deep breath in. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Legs bent, back straight. Inhale, half fold. Nice straight back, still looking down at the ground. Exhale, back to fold. Inhale, chair, arms parallel with the floor. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, all the way up a little bit of a back bend. Exhale, hands back through heart center and to the hips. Feet still hip distance. Now hip circles counterclockwise, so to the left. Keep that core engaged. Meet in center, keep the hips static, and now just the torso moves counterclockwise. A lot of core activation here to protect the spine, keep the sides of the body long. And a meeting in center, stepping the feet wider and that same twisting side to side. Slowing it down, meeting in center, feet back hip distance. Inhale the arms up, interlace the fingers, bring them to the back of the head. Turn the glutes on, turn the core on, and just lean the head into the hands. The more you press the hips forward, the more of a hip flexor stretch you'll get. But keep that head supported so the stretch is all through the chest, shoulders, spine, and then back to neutral. Releasing the hands to the hips, bending the legs, consciously slowly hinging from the hips so the back stays straight, and then relax the arms down. So ideally, your belly and chest would be supported by your thighs. That may or may not happen depending on your hamstrings. Then you can keep your hands on the ground or you can hold onto the forearms. Relax the head and hang. the hands to the floor, bend the legs so that your hands can get to the floor, and then come down to all fours. From here, walk the hands forward a little bit. We're going to move into puppy pose. Keep the hips up, but sink the chest and the forehead. 
If this is really uncomfortable on your shoulders, do child's pose instead. Slowly press into the hands, walk them closer. Keep the knees hip distance, press back to child's pose, forehead doesn't have to touch. Then inhale forward to kneeling plank. Exhale back to child's pose. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward, and then slowly lower to the belly. Bringing the arms, so elbows underneath the shoulders, wrists in line with elbows. Turn on the glutes, turn on the legs, and then inhale, lift into Sphinx. Option to stay here, or you can add a half neck circle. So down and over to the other side. So not leaning the head back, but just side to side. If that doesn't feel good, you can sit, look left and right. The meeting in center, two deep breaths in Sphinx. And then exhale, release down to the ground, turning the head to the right and relax the arms however feels good. Make sure you relax the glutes, relax the hips. And from here, we're gonna slide our arms out to a T or to cactus arms. Then shift the hips over so you can bend the right leg to a figure four. If you feel the stretch in the shoulder and the chest, stay here. If you're like, mm, I could use a little more, then you can stack, bring the left leg under the right and do it this way instead. Arms can be straight or cactus. So kind of play around, see what feels better on your chest and shoulders. And slowly make your way back to the belly. Forehead to the ground, hands behind the back on the sacrum. Option to pull the hands apart or bring the palms together and move the knuckles to the feet. Option to stay right as you are or you can lift the upper body up. Yogi's choice here. Relax down, relax the arms, turn the head to the left so the right cheek is on the mat, and breathe. Make sure those glutes and hips are let go again. Then moving into that chest and shoulder opener, Slide the arms out to a T or cactus arms, whatever you did on the other side. Then bring the left leg to a four position. And hold there, or you can slide the right leg under as well.
straighten the legs again, and then just roll onto the back. No fancy transition there. Hugging the knees into the chest. Option to gently rock side to side. And releasing both feet down to the ground. Extending the left leg straight up, foot flexed. Interlace the hands behind the left thigh and press the thigh into the hands. Shoulders relaxed. Return to that deep belly breath. And from here, crossing the left leg over the right into eagle legs or lady leg, or you could do pigeon. Deep breath in. Exhale, drop the legs over to the right. Try to keep the shoulders on the ground if possible. Turn the head left or right, whichever feels best. Inhale to center, unwrap the legs. Extend the right leg straight up, foot flexed. Interlace the hands behind the right thigh. Press the thigh into the hands, but relax the shoulders down. Release your grip, cross the right leg over the left, eagle legs if possible, or pigeon. Deep breath in. Exhale, drop the legs to the left. Look in the opposite direction. Slowly unwind to center, release the legs. Straighten the legs along the mat, hip distance or wider. Roll the shoulders under a little bit so the shoulders feel open. Palms can turn up, but you're not all scrunched up in the back. Then take a deep breath in through the nose. Sigh it out. Then the next time you inhale, Count how long it takes to inhale, four, five, six. Try to exhale two counts longer. So if it takes you five to inhale, try to exhale to seven. One more. Then allow your natural breathing pattern to take over. You can keep your hands on the floor or bring them to the lower belly. Count each inhalation one, exhalation two in your head till you get to 10 and then start over again at one. Every time the thoughts interrupt, start counting the breath 
starting over again at one. If that meditation technique doesn't work for you, feel free to do whatever it does. We'll spend just two minutes breathing deeply like this. Beginning to deepen the breath, feeling the fingers and toes, rotating the wrists and the ankles, and then very gently rolling to one side, whichever feels most natural, taking two deep mindful breaths there. Gently pressing on up to seated. Thank you guys for coming to practice after a long day. I hope you have a great rest of the evening. I hope you sleep like a baby. Let me know if you do. Namaste.